Okay, so let's say you're trying to make some shape and you know you want to fill it at the end. So what I mean by fill it, you go here, you know, you got the line and you got the bucket, and you go like I want to fill it at the end, right? But you really jacked it up, you deleted this, and you're like, hey, that broke that. And then I'm like, oh, well, let me undo that. And then you're like, hey, I gotta fix this thing up. I'm gonna make my new shape. So let's just make the whole shape real quick. I'm gonna try to connect it with some two-point lines and let's say here and let's see hopefully this doesn't work and then I can show you how to fix it so I'm gonna delete this I'm gonna delete that delete that delete that delete that and then I'm gonna click this and I'm gonna highlight it and I'm gonna say fill that doesn't fill see doesn't fill won't fill it okay so then you're like hey let me try to group it object and then you go to group or combine I, where's group i think group is here here group you say group it you know there we go so now it's just one thing right so it's got to fill so let's click it and fill it it doesn't see so here we go so this is the problem right so i think you can ungroup so just make sure it's ungrouped and then i think you highlight this i think you also have to delete these things off like stuff that's real obvious you should probably delete it like, hey, what's this extra thing, you know? Um, but if it looks good and you're like, and it still doesn't work, highlight it all and then go to window, window and go to dockers. Then after dockers, go to join curves, click that. Then it puts a check mark on it. That means it'll be here on the side with your contours, properties, objects. You'll find the join curves here. So go ahead and highlight it. Make sure this is available. Gap tolerance 0.1. So obviously, um, if you know it's like darn perfect, you can actually lower that if you want. But 0.1 should be fine. What happens is if there's like a 0.1 gap here, it might actually try to close that. And that's not what you meant. So it's what it's saying is if it finds any gaps, 0.1 inches. So you can obviously, for me, I think I can reduce this pretty small, like 0.5. Make sure it's on extend and click apply. And I think that's it. I think apply should do it. So let's see, and I don't think you need to group it, but let's see, fuck it. Okay, that didn't work, so let's see real quick. Uh, let me let me clean this up a little bit better, like stuff like this, and this one right here. There we go, and let's click this, and I think I might not need to group it too. Let's see, group. That's not there. So object, let's go to group and group it. And then still won't do it. So let's try that join curves. And let me bump it up to point one. Apply. There we go. That did it. So you can go back to properties and you'll see that it does work. I can say no fill or fill and I can change the colors or whatever. So it does work. So it's a, it has to do with this join the curves. It joins it together as one thing. It'll extend and do things whatever it needs to do to make it happen, okay? So that should do it.